Ah, yes, the Sega Mega CD, or just the Sega CD in America. Some say it was a misunderstood add-on since it was filled with shitty FMV games. For Sega, the thing to play video was only there so that developers would make cutscenes as rewards for completing levels. But the developers thought otherwise, so they went experimental and thought that FMVs were the future of video games. That didn't work as most of them are just cheesy trash. There are some good games for the system like Sonic CD and some others. But today, I'll be looking at three FMV games in more or less 5 minute bursts. Let's get started. First up is one of those make my video games, specifically the one with Mark Wahlberg. Yes, that Mark Wahlberg. What? No! Before he went to expose his dick in Boogie Nights, he was a rapper. I don't know how good he was, but if he's any better than Vanilla Ice, I can take it. Anyway, the game was released in 1992, exclusively for the Mega CD. I'm gonna keep calling that to annoy damn Yankees, ya wankers! There's also other games of the series, like the one with In Excess, that Australian rock band that isn't called ACDC. Digital Pictures made the game, although to me, the picture quality looks too analogish. Hey, don't come too close, buddy. So the story is about these siblings bickering about Mark, and they want you to make a music video. It's either one of these songs or whatever one of these people wants. After that, you start editing by shuffling some effects and change the clips while the music is playing till the end. That's the linear bullshit I've ever seen. Some just randomly turn on and off the effects, and when the music is over, they rejected it. I don't know what I did wrong, so I decided to check YouTube for clues. It turns out that you have to change the clips once in a while. But the original video is fine, it's perfect, there's no need to fix it. The effects are just extra, it doesn't count for some odd reason. Should've been called make my video shit. Sounds stupid, I know. For some reason, when you change the effects, the D-pad is so sensitive that to remove the effect, you have to slightly tap left or right the center of the square. And you know how much I hate sensitive controls on a D-pad? It's not an analog stick, dammit! Maybe it's an issue with the emulator or my control, but still. So after that old jazz, as long as the video isn't rejected, you watch your final result. It looks like a mess, all I did was just randomly put the clips into an already made music video. And apparently they liked it. The production quality is kind of good, although the characters act all cheesy and stereotypical. I mean, what do you expect, it was the 90s, and MVVs were a new thing, so let's exploit the hell out of it. Amazing that they actually got Mark Wahlberg for the game, not just his music videos. Though that doesn't stop it from being shit, but somehow looking at him shirtless turns me on. Hell, shirtless muscular man turns me on. Hey, I'm not gay! Just a bit bisexual at times. Overall, it's a bad one. At least the music is great. Want to get a burger? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, wait up! Our next game is Tomcat Alley, probably the worst of the bunch. Well, according to Rerez, at least. Then again, he thinks nobody likes dodgeball. At some point, you saw a movie where kids in the US were playing dodgeball, and you thought, Wouldn't that be fun if they made a game about dodgeball? Well, it's not fun! Nobody likes playing dodgeball in f***ing gyms and real schools, so why would they want to come- Taxi drivers must die! <coughs> Sorry, um, what was I? Oh yeah. The game was released in 1994, which is almost late on the add-on's life. It was then ported to the PC a year later with better FMV quality, but I'm gonna play the Mega CD version, just because. So some Russian bomber is going around the country, and it's your mission to stop it before the war plunges to madness. The game is, obviously, fully comprised of FMVs, and oh look, a target! Ratchet, abort mission. Repeat, abort mission. There's something wrong with a kid. Shit. So I'm supposed to lock into that target just to get there. Okay. Here are some enemy targets that I must go and shoot. So you launch the missile with the A button and B to move to another target. Though for some reason I can't seem to change weapons here. It uses the three A, B, C buttons, so maybe they could have used the C button to change weapons instead of disabling the HUD. Whenever I try to move the crosshair to a target, it can lock into it, but it's quite difficult as this target is moving fast. And I lost a lot of missiles just for one target. 
This game is really hard, but avoiding an enemy missile is kind of easier, so there's that. Just move to another target. That's probably it. I didn't bother to play it more. I'm a lazy fuck, you know. The production quality is quite amazing for an FMV game. You have CGI stuff, some good quality sets, although this world door looks fake as hell, and really good acting, which is surprising considering most of the FMV games from the 90s have cheesy acting, and sometimes a bit of sexism thrown in. Girls, can live with them? And shoot them. After the shooting ended, that kid grew up to be a writer for Return of Kings. I think. There's nothing wrong with that here, you just did this article for attention, ironically. The flight scenes look like they use stock footage, but I can take it. Surprisingly, how the MVVs are in full screen, and there's a reason for that. You can't just make an MVV combat flight game with a really short screen now, would ya? I mean, you can do it, as the next game I'm gonna talk about in a moment demonstrated. Although, there's a side effect of being blurry, but you can see the target's fine despite moving so fast. Overall, it's a decent yet a hard game, even if you put it on easy, so I don't know if I recommend this. But hey, at least it's a game, unlike the previous one that I've covered. I must have pissed off some assholes like Kotaku in action for calling make my video sexist, didn't I? Where's my popcorn? Sewer Shark, a launch title, is another digital pictures developed game, but this time it's published by Sony Image Soft rather than Sega. Later on, Sony became a big rival for Sega, but that's not important. The game, released in 93 in PAL regions, is a shoot 'em up game involving you trying to kill the creatures from the sewers after humanity were forced to live underground when they fucked up the planet. This is what happens when you vote Trump! Oh shit, I'm getting too political. If I keep making forced and contrived jokes about US politics, I might turn myself into a liberal razor face in a couple of months. The Fish isn't supposed to advocate vigilantism! Anyway, with the company of ham fisted ghosts and Sovereign c 3 head, you control the crosshair with your D pad. What if this game has light gun support? You should using air, but be warned. Not only piling the chip drains of fuel, shooting yourself will drain it faster. So it's like the HEV suit from Half Life 2, they share the same power source. Not only is the game a real shooter, but it also plays like Dragon Slayer as you come across these junctions. For some reason, I didn't know if the game was broken or I wasn't paying attention because I died twice in the game by an opening gate. Ghost keeps telling me I went the wrong way, like how am I supposed to go? Turns out I have to hold B the other direction to go which way. Well, the game could have at least told me how to do it instead of forcing myself to read a manual or watch a walkthrough of the game. You also have these annoying flying critters. Apparently these are the only enemies around in the MVVs, at least in the first level. There's also these recharging stations which gives you 10,000 energy points, which are useful. So far I'm doing good at- oh what the fuck? What a movie! Alright, enough playing, let's talk about the presentation. The transitions when going to these junctions feel smooth in FMV standards. Amazing how they actually filmed these sewer scenes. Is it just me, or did the Wachowski brother sibling sisters got the inspiration for real world sewers in the Matrix from this game? Just wondering. What's strange for a Mega CD game is that it uses infant synths for the music instead of Red Book audio. Look, it was either CD audio or a hammy performance from this guy, okay? Speaking of which, the acting is kinda hammy. We've got ghosts who keep shouting at you and calls you by your call sign, which by the way is dog meat for some reason. He also calls you a pencil neck at times. The sets and the creatures are really convincing, except for these bats, they look out of place. It doesn't make the video less blurry, but heh, what can you do? So that was Sewer Shark. This one is like a fun version of Tomcat Alley. Why would you want to hear convincing acting in a jet fighter game when you can just get screamed at by a co-worker while doing your job? Wait, no, that's a really bad choice of words. Uh, fuck the SJWs, am I right? I don't want them easily triggered FEMALES to be part of my hobby. Vera comes are the lifeblood of me. I don't care if Trump decided to leave the Paris Agreement on climate change. The most important thing about life is that Persona 5 has a slightly changed box art. That's censorship. How dare you cover a cleavage, you feminist loving cucks? Well, that's those three games over with. Now what? Mm, I'll save it for later. I have some unfinished business to do.